In this part of the October 2020 Camp Connection, we will learn more about recent regulatory developments in Turkey. With less than three months to go before KKDIC registration, let's connect with Ankara and ask Dilek Erkan from the Turkey's Ministry of Environment and Urbanization what the current status of KKDIC is. Hi Dilek, I hope all is well. Hello Cheert, thank you. All is well except pandemic conditions. We are continuing our legislative and system-based works as the Ministry and also following the international progresses on chemicals. The face-to-face -face meetings, seminars and trainings turned into online webinars as in the whole world, so we adapted to the pandemic conditions. COVID provides many challenges for all of us, but glad to see that you have adapted for now. Can you share with us the key points of the KKDIC registration process? Yes, uh, as you know, different from EU reach, the registration dates don't depend on tonnage bans in Turkey. There is only one three-year transition period for the substances which are manufactured or imported before 2024, independently of tonnage bans. Transition period shall be started on 2021 and will be finished by 2024 and also 2024 is the entry into force date of the no data no market provision as registration time is coming the companies are sending press substance information exchange forums RSCFs, via turkish chemicals registration system and get the chance to see the contact details of suppliers for the same substance thus one registration dossier for one substance will be achieved as in reach by joint registration submissions. Up till today, above 95,000 presets sent via chemicals registration system for above 15,000 substances. For registrations, information requirements are same with reach as listed in annexes 7 to 10. We emphasize that available data can be used to prevent repetition of tests. Chemicals registration system is in Turkish, so the entries of information requirements should be in Turkish, including study summaries, but additional test reports can be submitted in English. In Kikidik, I mean in Turkish reach, the registration dossiers shall be reviewed by certified chemical assessment experts and the companies shall give the details of the experts in their dossiers. It's a must to take a training and pass an exam to be a chemical assessment expert. There are 32 training institutions and 4 certification institutions for this issue. For now, there are approximately 200 chemical assessment experts and the companies shall decide whether to host a chemical assessment expert in their company or to get a service for this issue according to their conditions. Talking about service providers for industry, Similar to EU REACH, companies can appoint an only representative. What happens when you change your only representative? Uh, the data of the related substance can be transferred to the new only representative's account. For this issue, one of the actors, I mean uh, the company outside Turkey or the new only representative, send an official letter to the ministry and inform about the new situation. Afterwards, uh, ministry meet the demands. Uh, in brief, Ministry can transfer the request data or a dossier of an own representative to another after some easy official procedures. An important question. What are the expected registration fees? Yes, very important question. A draft fee a list published on our chemicals help desk as an announcement. The list is draft but it isn't proposed to be changed. The fees are very, very reduced compared to the EU's. I can say regarding to registrations, the lowest fee is 50 Turkish liras for a micro enterprise who has a joint submission and places on the market a substance between 1 to 10 tons. The highest fee is 15,000 Turkish liras belongs to a big company with individual submission who places on the market a substance above 1,000 tons. The final list will be published at the website of the Ministry in the Circulating Capital Enterprise Unit Price List on the first day of 2021. 
In January this year we met in Ankara for the official opening of the EU-Turkey project on technical assistance to conduct chemical safety assessments under the scope of the REED regulation. In my role as consultant of Royal Haskoni DHV, I am part of that project team that among others is providing train-the-trainer sessions on chemical safety assessment. A key part of our project focuses on revisions to the registration system. Can you tell our viewers more about this? Yes, firstly I want to say that the project is really on time. Both the two activities that you also mentioned on capacity building and improvement of chemicals registration system are so crucial before registration start date. With the project, the improvement and development of chemical registration system in line with the latest version of Euclid is aimed. Additionally, an activity on the integration of chemical safety assessment report tool and other related tools to the chemicals registration system is planned to be achieved. And some user-friendly functionalities are introduced to the system. We foresee the new system will be online on November of 2020 and the improvements shall continue. Besides KKD, can we expect other amendments or new legislation for chemicals? Yes, as the Ministry we are also dealing with CRP, POPs and PIC regulations regarding to chemicals management. Revision studies on uh, our national CRP by law are finalized, including 13th ATP of EU CRP. We foresee the bylaw will be published within 2020. Draft bylaw on import and export of certain hazardous chemicals, which is aligned with the EU peak regulation, is finalized too and will be sent to the presidency to be published in 2020. Also, Turkey has ratified the Rotterdam Convention in 2017. By law on persistent organic pollutants is published in 2018, which harmonizes the EU POPs regulation. Turkey is carrying out a gas project on disposal of POPs stockpile and elimination of POPs releases, and IPA project on identification and remediation of contaminated sites with POPs. A revision in POPs by law is also planning. I also heard rumors on the adaptation of nanomaterials and the potential development of a skip-like database for information of substances of concern in articles. We are following the progresses on these topics and make our future plans covering these subjects for a better sound management of chemicals in Turkey. For nanomaterials, the related new sections are adapted to the new chemicals registration system and the new provisions are planned to be reviewed and to be adapted to the bylaw in the coming years. For substance of very high concern, we are planning to work on in the following year. As the execution date for the authorization process is 2024 for Turkey, the candidate authorization list will be published in 2021. We are aware of the importance of the substitution of SVHCs with safer chemicals and its contribution to the sustainable production. Accordingly, we are planning a project on safer chemicals by implementing REACH and POPs regulations for a non-toxic material cycle. With the project ensuring a high level of protection of human health and the environment and to contribute to the circular economy by supporting the country to use safer chemicals are aimed. Within this frame, setting a substitution portal for safer chemicals alternative to SVHCs will be the first step to su support industry on this topic. The second step will be the establishment of a skip-like database for products including SVHC and opening it for access of waste sector for toxic-free cycles. Dilek, thank you very much for your update. A lot to do for you and your colleagues at the Ministry, and of course for industry in the KKDIC registration process.